Specifically online learning. Okay, so I discovered Kaggle because of my students. I think you also had this experience. Maybe you also asked your students to report in class. And then, siguro may napansin kayo na their designs is really good. Or that you might have also seen them using Canva as well. So it's the same for me. Um, I always notice that some of the reports of my students when they are not using the traditional PPT from the Microsoft, I notice that their designs, their elements is really good. So I tried to ask them, what application are you using? And then they told me it's Canva. So I tried it, but the first time it was overwhelming. So I set it aside, sabi ko, it's not my priority. And then on summer, um, I had this opportunity to work with Father Ulysses Caballo in delivering the HPW. It's a new system. We were just asked that we need to deliver the HPW, but we don't know where the students are, so we need to communicate with them. So that's just the task. We don't know how to do it. We don't know how to contact 1,800 students, plus the confirmation from the faculty as well. And yeah, so some of them don't have any address. Some of them don't have, or their numbers are not working, the one that they use for um, register or the one that they use for enroll for the enrollment. So it was very challenging, and the team that we were working f f um, with during the time are actually just volunteers, student volunteers at first. So uh, before we were just gonna give out the um, instructions via messenger. Tapos pa ulit ulit ulit. Tapos kailangan pa magbackread. And then some of the students suggested, "Ma'am, for instructions, let's just give it in infographics and pub maps. It will be much easier. And then hindi mo na kailangan magbackread. Um, upload ka lang na upload ulit. And it really helps, not just because we don't have to retype and retype again, but at the same time, pictures make it easier for people to understand the instructions. So that is why." After the busy days of delivering the HPW, nakahinga -hinga na kami, I really tried my best to learn what Canva is all about. And then on the start of the classes, that is when I really explored the application and thank God because it really helped me with a lot of things. So what I like about Canva is that I don't have to really install it because if I install it, sometimes my computer will just crash most of the time. And it's just online. So even if I'm just working with another computer, I'm not at home, which is very rare because bawal lumabas is so easy because I just need an internet connection and all my files is there. So I don't have to carry USB. I don't have to worry, oh my God, I forgot this. I cannot do my work because the file is over there because everything is already in Canva. At the same time, I can do a lot of things. I could make presentations, I can make pre-recorded discussions, I can create templates. So this is what I really like about the application. Okay, so these are the things that I am doing with Canva. I am upgrading my Moodle classroom um, to the sense that it is more aesthetically organized, you know. So I am upgrading my Moodle classroom. Now, I, because I am teaching GE courses. So when you're teaching GE courses, the greatest challenge is having five classes in a day for example having five classes in a day and it's the same subject so i needed to teach about hispanic philippines from 7 a.m down to 3 14 non-stop so it will be very challenging for me so i like it that um, i can create pre-recorded discussions and just make sure this is organized make sure that it is um done well so that i could just upload it per classroom and then at the same time, it's just the same content. I'm just handling one Moodle classroom with five different classes. And I will just be using Canva and the features of Moodle to make it a way that even though I'm handling five classroom in one Moodle, uh, five classes in one Moodle classroom, it's still manageable. The students will not get confused. So that is what I like about it. It can make my life much more easier. And then also I create presentations. And here in Canva, I can create my presentation and then convert it to pre-recorded discussions. So that is a good thing for me as well. Um, when I'm teaching history or when you are teaching history, there are some times as well that um, the content might change. So for example, uh, we believe before that the first mass or the contentious issue about the first mass, there are new evidences that might come up. So instead of actually creating a new whole set of video that I need to record myself again, I can just edit some parts of it and that I can use it for maybe two to three years and just really edit, edit, edit na lang. So it's just very difficult 
uh, sa umpisa, but once you get the hang of it, once your files are already ready, it can make your life much easier for the, not just for the susunod na mga semester, but until the, na tinuturo mo yung subject. So that is what I really like about it. But of course, it is not limited with this. You can also create study guides, you can create infographics, you can um, just have fun with it, you could use it for your business if you're starting your business as well. It's not just limited for education. Okay, so sino po dito yung mga hindi pa naka-register with their Canva account? Meron po ba dito na wala pang Canva? Can you please tell me? Ah, okay. So, dun sa mga wala pang Canva account, I will be giving you the link on where to register. I will be sending it to you. Okay. So, at the same time, I will be sharing you the link on how to. Okay. So, just click the Canva for Education and. I created an infographic, so you could also share this with our other colleagues at the same time. Na hindi makaattend ng session, but it's very much interested with the application. Here, so this is an infographic. I did not create a video because video is very hassle for processes. Like um, if you're teaching or if you're sharing to someone, this type of process is very Medyo hassle siya pag video kasi kailangan mo i-pause, pause, 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 pause. So pag infographics, just look at it in your phone while you're doing it in your laptop. So yan siya. Okay. So just follow it. I will be sharing to you what I did as well. So this is the infographic that I did. So how to register for or sign up for Canva Education. So for those of you who are just first timer in this session, there are a lot of Canva accounts. You could use Canva Free, which is basically the same, but may mga watermark siya na may nakalagay na Canva sa likod. Or pedyo, watermark na nakalagay dun sa mga elements or anything that you will do, any products that will, you will be creating from Canva, makikita mo yung watermarks pag Canva Free ang ginagamit mo. Pag Canva Pro naman, um, it's mainly for business. Yung features, yung names ng features niya is mainly for business. But for Canva Education, it's the same function with Canva Pro, pero ang makikita mo lang ng mga labels, instead of um, creator team, um, creator classroom. So, ganun lang yung ginawa nila. So, it's mainly still the functions of dragging, creating templates, but they specifically tried to create it that is much more simpler for education. Ah, this is... So, yeah. So, I just gave you the link as well, but if you want, you can get, you can go to this link, or you can just type in your Google tab, Canva for Education, and then automatically the first option that Google will give you is the site wherein you can register for a Canva for Education. Very simple. Just click register now for free. Pwede na mag, ano ba? Pwede na mag... Bayaran sa Canva, grabe na kung ano sa ilaha. <laughs> but, you know, just click register now for free. And then, yan. But the thing is, if you have already created your Canva account way before they have the initiative of actually giving out, giving it out for free for teachers and students, um, you will be requested to upgrade it. So just upgrade it, contact support for upgrade, or you can just contact them in Messenger. They will help you with it. Okay, so this is very important. Use your ADO email because if you don't, they will be offering you subscription that you need to pay. I think it's just 4000 per year, but also or 600 per month. Pero sayang naman, instead of actually just making use of the money for other things, um, you will be using it for Canva subscription wherein you have an option that is actually free with the same features that you can use as well. Okay. So yeah, um, just like any other online accounts, they will be asking you to confirm your registration. So it's the same process. They will be sending you a link in your Gmail account. Just follow their process. It's very simple and that it will lead you back to Canvas homepage. So this is the frequently asked question. 
um, in registering in Canva and then you already make use of your email. I have already used my ad email to register for Canva Pro and not Canva for Education. As I said a while ago, you can still upgrade it. You may request for upgrade via support, just contact support. You will be um, sending them an email explaining your situation. Or if you want a more faster transaction, just message them in Facebook. They are very friendly and they will really help you with it. So yeah, that's it. That's how you register for a Canva account. Do we have any questions? Okay. Um, yes, Canva for Education is free as long as you have an ADU account. Actually, it is for free as long as you have an email that is associated with the university. So it is for free. You're welcome, Paul. So do we have any other question? Um, how to enroll for that? You just, this is the link. I will bump it to you. I will bump it. So just go to this link. And then this first link that I have sent to you, Mom Christine, is this website on where you can, um, where you could register for a Canva account. But this is the steps I will be bumping to you. I created an infographic here because i don't know how to send a file in google meet so i will be just sharing you the link the second link is the infographic that i created para magamit niya siya in registering for a canva account so yeah it's a step-by-step -step process and also what you do if you already have a canva account um yes canva pro is free for 30 days only so what i do is i use different cards just to avail the before before canva education i use different credit cards and atm my mom's credit card my sister credit card and then renew 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 i also experienced that i forgot to unsubscribe and then automatically kinain niya yung money ko from PayPal. And it's a, for a year subscription, so mga around $100 at yun siya. But luckily, Canva is so kind na nirefund ka manila. Okay. So do you have any questions for now? Magkano uli yung pro, ma'am? I think it's, the parang, I think it's $100 for a year. I think $100 okay. for a year. Almost five. Yes, it's so, para sa akin, sobrang sayang siya. Even if it's just yeah. a month, sobrang sayang. I could use it to yes. buy foods or ano ba. <laughs> I could use it for... Pag-hawd na siguro may sa Canva, no? Pag-hawd na sa Canva. No, ma'am. I think, you know, you just use Canva for education. It's really the same. Yeah. It's just basically the same. Instead of pay, just use it for free. <laughs> okay. Less designer. Okay, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, so now, do you, I think... Um, sino dito yung wala pa pong hindi pa naka-register? Please let me know. Sino dito yung hindi pa naka-register? Oh, okay, so I think. Oh, okay, so Ma'am Maria, um, are you having troubles in sa pag-register po? Do you need any help? Yung sa Canva, ma'am, wala po po talaga ako naka-register. I will try later po kasi medyo okay. mahina yung net. Oh, I'm okay. using my phone Ah, okay. Sige, sige, sige. So, sige po. Okay po. Sige. Okay, so, I think I can move on now. Move on. Sun all. Okay, so here. If you are seeing my screen, I am currently in the Canva homepage. So, for the benefit of those that have already attended the previous session, I will try to make it fast but clear and concise. But anyway, no worries because I am creating a classroom in Moodle wherein you could actually experience the two-day trainings that I am offering without really attending the training. So I am designing it for easy access for everyone. Okay, so again, here I am in Canva homepage. So this is what you will be seeing. Um, wag po kayo magtaka if the names I have here is Brand Kit, Content Planner, Creative Team. It will be quite different if you're using Canva for education because you can see creating classroom, inviting students, something like that. Um, do not get too confused. It's practically the same with just features having different names. So yeah. Okay. So just a quick trip to Canva homepage. So this is it. 
Um, this is the Canva logo. Home, this is basically the home page. And then the templates, let's say that um, you have no mood board. Mood board is um, in graphic design. Mood board is basically your inspiration because sometimes medyo sabog ang thoughts natin. We know what we want, but since we have a lot of options, we just can't decide what to use. So mood board will help you create that. So basically just try to see what elements you would want to use, what colors, um, what fonts, yun. but if you don't have any time to do that and it's just a quick presentation, you could go in the templates that is already available and just select here what you want to use. And let's say, for example, it's your first time creating a resume. So just click resume and then they will be giving you different templates. It's your first time creating a business card. See, so it's Canva is not just for education. It's um, you can do a lot of things with it. So let's say you're going to do a storyboard or a class schedule lesson plan. You can just use the templates here. It's also available here. But the first thing that you will be seeing is actually the options of the templates, video presentation, Instagram post, Instagram story, A4 document, and so on and so forth. And this, on the second part, you will be seeing your design as well. Okay. So, the, yung pag, pag mag scroll ka pa baba, makikita mo na lang yung mga templates. So, in the side part here, um, all your design is basically the things that you did and shared with you. If I open this, these are the designs that is created in Canva that is shared with you. So, this is a good thing. Let's say, for example, uh, marami kayo nagtuturo ng isang subject. So instead of actually just doing everything on your own, you can work via team. You don't have to upload, oh, hey, send ko sayo sa Gmail or send ko sayo sa Facebook. And then make edits, tell me what you did. You can do the editing just like Google Docs at the same time. So you could also put comments. Um, I think that this uh, element is not suited for this class. Can we change it? And so you could just work synchronously if you want. For the brand kit, um, I use this to make sure because when you're designing a Moodle classroom, it is very important na nagmamatch yung colors na ginagamit mo. I know that sometimes it is so tempting to use rainbow colors or um, as much as elements that I want, change my fonts every slide. But in design, it's not really that good. It's not um, visually pleasing. It's medyo sabog siya. So especially if you're teaching in college or you're teaching in grad school, you're designing your Moodle for even senior high school, it's best to get a theme. But of course, if you're teaching in grade school, um, they are so excited with design. So you could still set a theme that is very colorful, that is very um, creative as well. But it really depends for, upon your purpose, kung parang saan mo siya So I think sometimes, or most of the time for me, you need a certain palette. So a palette is a set of color that naturally match. So it can be contrasting, but at the same time it works when it's put together. Or it can be in a shade of blue, in a shade, all in a shade of blue, or all in a shade of yellow. It's up to you. For um, fans, I would suggest two to three is already enough. Especially if you're designing a certain Moodle classroom, or kung sa mga vloggers, they will call it a website. Sa atin ng mga teachers, we call it as online classroom. I would really suggest to use just two to three fonts and make use of it, uh, make use of fonts that is easily, um, easily to read. Yung hindi siya masyadong maraming designs. Because again, our purpose in creating or designing our Moodle classroom is that it's easily navigate or madali siya, mas madali siya ma-navigate. So I suggest two to three fonts that is easily to, that is easy to read. Hindi <laughs> maka-move on sa mga adverbs. Anyway, here, content planner. If you are just like me that I get this up most of the time, I don't know what to do, I have a lot of work, so I needed to be reminded, Canva also has an option for you to do that. Just create here. I will be having a classes on 26, so I need to upload all my content in 24. Or it's almost January 4, I need to make sure that my content is already available so that my students can actually um, do their works already and they don't have to wait for my content. So I need to remind me to do this thing so I can just use this content planner. And then here, if you would want to work with a team, 
um, if they have a Canva Pro or they have a Canva for Education, you could just send them an invite link and you could work together. Let's say, for example, uh, we're teaching science for grade four, marami kami. Okay, so ma'am, you will be doing this, uh, um, this topic and I will be doing this topic. And you could share your content, that will be really nice as well. Um, here, it's also nice to create your folders so that you will know what you are working for. Um, work you're working for. So I do this and it really helps me organize my designs. So trash is the things that I've worked for and I need to it. Yes. Okay. So now let's go to editor. I'm gonna just gonna go here. Okay. So do we have any questions with the homepage? Okay. I think questions with the homepage. Okay. Mom, I can see content planner sa, sa option sa left side. I'm not sure though why. Um, after the oh, sa, I, I can see it. I can see it. It's after shared with you. Uh, brand kit. Before brand kit, sana nandiyan, no? But I can I have it here. I'm not sure what? why. <laughs> oh, what type of account are you using, Mom Christine? Um, actually using my old account, but I tried the education uh, link kanina and it's the same. I, I was I, I was still in my old account. Uh, uh, I'm using the uh, address because uh, I'm not are sure you... how to upgrade. Okay, so um, when you had your own old Canva Pro, did you use your ad email for it? Yes. Oh, okay. Add email, yes, po. Mm -hmm. So I suggest for well, you contact the support for Canva and try to ask them if your account that you're using is already for Canva for Education. And if not, tell them that you would want to upgrade and they will really help you with it. You just need, I think, to... For my experience, um, hindi naman sila nagtanong. Parang sabi na, okay, we will help you do that. So they did it for me. But if you will be contacting support via email, I think they will be asking you for ID, company ID. That is more than enough. Um, but if you contact them in Messenger, they are very helpful. They just help me with it. So I think that is the reason why. Thank you. You're welcome, po. Okay. So yeah, okay, la, okay. So wala pa rin siyang content panel. So I think, yeah, if that is the case, just contact mo na Canva for education or Canva supporting. They are very helpful, honestly. Okay. So do we have any more concerns with the Canva homepage and the Canva account? Okay, I think not. So now I will be introducing to you one of my best friends for online education, and that is the editor. So the editor, unlike Photoshop or InDesign, it's not that overwhelming. It's very user-friendly and it's easy to manipulate. So yeah. Okay, so let's start here. Can you see my screen? Okay lang tayo sa screen? Okay, I think okay. Na. Nakikita niyo naman siguro. Yes, ma'am, yes. Okay. Thank you po, thank you. So again, here, just a quick recap for those that were already with me from the last previous two days. And this is, if this is new for you, um, this is again the editor. So let's start with the uh, menu tab here. Yung parang going from blue, green, going to dark blue, and then orange. So what you can see here is home. Of course, if you click home, you will be brought back to your home page. File. This is this is very simple actually. This is if you want to create a new design, just click create new design, and they will be asking you what type of design are you doing? Is it for Instagram? Is it for video presentation? Are you creating flyer? So if you click that, they will be opening a new window for that. But of course, we're not going to do that. Okay, and then resize. Let's say that I thought I was going to create an infographic, but I think a study guide is going to be better, but I already have my designs here. I don't want to start from scratch. So you just need to do is, for example, here I have already a presentation. I want it to be a study guide, so I will choose maybe A4. Uh, do we have an A4 here? Yes, we do. So we just resize that. Yeah. Um, let's say I still want to keep the presentation. So just copy and resize. Automatically, it will be resized through a presentation and you just need to drag the, the signs that it will fit an A4. So ganyan lang siya. Para kahit nasa computer sila or nasa tapas sila ng computer or they are under mobile, they could just, you just need to drag. They could just still view it. Okay. 
Ganyan lang siya. Okay. Um, let's say that here. Okay, we're done with that. I wanted to change my title. Just do it here. I want to share it with my colleagues. Just copy the link, give them the link, or type their emails. Let's say, for example, I wanted to invite Father to use I don't remember his email. So I will ask him for his email, put it here, and then I just invite. Um, let's say here that you want to download. Make sure you select the proper file that you would need. Um, you would need it's a presentation. Go for MP4. It's for templates to design your Moodle classroom. Go for PNG. It's for study guide for the student. Go PDF. Yeah. PDFs print. Use PDF print. It's high quality and yeah, mas maganda siya. Let's say I just want to see how it looks like. So you just this is especially useful for video presentations. You could go standard that you just need to click per slide, or you can go autoplay. It means it will automatic automatically play dependent kung gano mo katagal pina set yung per slide. Is it ten seconds or five seconds? Or presenter view in which you can see your notes in the upcoming slides as well. Yeah. And then the three lines here is your other options. So. You want to share it in the email, or you want to embed it, or you want a Microsoft PowerPoint because in presentation I am more familiar with Microsoft PowerPoint. You can do that as well. So just click Microsoft PowerPoint. It will give you a download option. If I click this, um, it will appear that it will they are preparing my design, and then it will automatically download to a PowerPoint presentation. Will it change the elements? If there are some elements na hindi kaya ni PowerPoint presentation, such as GIF, hindi siya makakapi. But if a PowerPoint presentation, nandun yung kanyang fonts, it's the same fonts and images, and kaya niya, hindi siya magbabago. Yun yung, ano, yun yung parang difference na Okay, so that is the menu tab. Now let's go to the sidebar. First, templates. It's just the same from the homepage that you can see. So I usually get templates pag wala akong idea on what I know what to do. I have my content. I just don't know what is defeated the site for it. I need I need inspiration. So I just go here and try to look for it. This is a good thing because you already have a set of elements that you can use. For example, here. It's already has it already has elements. This cute big people over here. So I can just use that. Uploads, um, Canva will allow you to upload images, videos, and audio, and you can use this as well. If you can drag, for example, I have here, let's go to videos. Let's go to videos. Let's say I want this to be here, I can just drag it like that. And then, pag, pag nag-upload na siya dito, makikita mo na siya. Ganyan. Okay? So just drag it, drag it, drag it. You don't have to really need to upload media and go the long process. You can just drag it. Very user friendly. Okay. So you can download images here. So you can see the one that I used from the previous slide. You can see Segunda Katigba because I also um, taught Rizal. You could also see some political content because I'm also doing some PowerPoint presentation for a colleague sometimes. Yeah. And these are the videos that I'm using audio that I use. Sometimes when I'm just welcoming my students in my classroom, I really don't like, I have nothing I have nothing much to say. It's just simple text. I just use the text and then also I put some background music to it so that while they're viewing their video, they can hear the background music. But let's say the music that I like is already in Canva, I don't want to download, so they have um, hundreds of options as well. Just look, let's say, for example, I want to be happy. So for your chap, and then they're going to give you happy beats, and then just use that. But here is it. You can only use one track per design. So in my previous session, some of our colleagues asked me, now, what if I really don't want to have videos? I just want my audio. Um, that is possible, but you need to still upload a video type of file. Okay, so... That is the uploads. Photos are just the same. Um, the thing that I don't like about PowerPoint presentation is just I need to copy paste from different websites and then 
um, put it here. But in Canva, it gives me an option that maybe they have already a picture that could um, represent my thoughts or the things that I want for my presentation. So let's say, for example, I am creating a presentation and how to bake cake. So there are already cakes in here. So I can do that as well. The good th uh, one thing that I really like about Canva as well is, for example, I, I have a photo that I like to use, but there are some parts of it that I don't want to be there or I don't like the background. Let's say, for example, I want, um, let's say, for example, here, I want Duterte, but I don't like his background. So I want Duterte, but I don't like his background. <laughs> so I'm just going to remove background. So how did I do it? Just put the picture in your slide, click effects, and then background remover. So just wait, be patient. In a little while, you can remove the background of the president. In a little while. But there are some photos na hindi nila detect yung background. Pag medyo blurry na talaga siya. So it's not going to be an option for that. Okay, so see, the background of the president is already deleted. Okay. So that is one feature that I really like. I can also cut videos that I want. So later I will be showing you that. We will go detail on that. And elements. I don't want to create, I don't want to use pictures. I just want to use cute elements. Let's say I'm creating a lesson about how to take care of your plants. So all the plant elements will be here. Let's say I'm teaching history. I want this up. I want this. I want, I can also use this. Let's say hmm, I'm going to teach the Katipunan, Bonifacio, all to there. Let's say I will be teaching um, the nice period or age of exploration. Also, uh, this will be my options. These are the elements that I can play with. So yeah, let's say I just, I will focus on my country. This is my lesson. So that's already options for Philippines. For the text, there is an easy hack. If you need to add text, what you just need to do is press P in your keyboard and then my dialog message. Then you just need to edit it. Hi, I'm Jai. Then you can just change the fonts, Control A, just the useful that we're doing in for another word. There, I want the size. And yeah, let's do that. But let's say, for example, you want a major stylish na text, but you don't know how to combine it, you just use their already combined fonts that already has colors as well. Or you can use something that is already given here. Yeah. Okay. So here, styles is created for people that is really new for online designing or creating graphic content. So again, it's not okay to play with a lot of colors at the same time in one design. So they will be giving you options for that. That's it. So they already have at least two slides and five colors that you can play with. But you can also create your own brand kit or your own, um, yeah, your own designs. So you have here three fonts, and this is what I created in the brand kit a while ago. Music, I have showed that a while ago. These are the videos that they already have. You can make use of this, or you can upload your own. Changing the background here, you just choose different backgrounds. It's not really just a plain um, colored one. You can use different backgrounds. You could use the sky. You can have um, this background as well. Yeah, you can play with it. Folders, those are my folders. Let's say I have something here that I want. Okay, so can I use this? Oh, I want this design. I want to put this, I want to integrate this in here. So add as a new page. Ta-da! So easy. Very, um, it's, I think it's really fun to play with and it's very efficient. So that's the basic of the editors. Do we have any questions? Okay, so aside from the content planner, 
Um, do we have any other questions about the editor? Going for once, going for twice. Okay, so I think there are no questions. That's great. It means that it's very simple and it's very clear. Okay, so I will be just deleting this. Okay. Now we're done with learning the basics and navigating the homepage and the editor. Let's have a checkpoint quiz. So this is not part of my previous um, sharing with you, ma'am and sir. So I will be having this today. So checkpoint quiz. Today we will be designing a two pages presentation using as many functions as we can. You can use your own mood board if you have, but the presentation will be for your class orientation. So let's say it's already January. Uh, you have two options. You can just create a presentation for a synchronous class, or you could create a short two to three minutes video, send it to your students before the classes, so they will already have an idea on how to register through your Moodle classroom or what is the subject all about. So I will be doing it as well, so you can take inspirations from how I do it, the process of how I do it, or you may just play with it and have fun. So later we will see what you come up with and we will also share it with our other colleagues. So okay po ba tayo Can we do it? Give me a thumbs up if yes, or just a quick yes in the chat box if you're game for it. You can raise your hand. Yay! Okay, so that's great. Okay, so we're up in the law. We have 34 here, so let's do this. We can do it. It's going to be very okay. You know, so, yeah. So, let's try to do this. Again, I will be with you. China all the time. So, I will be also creating it. So I have here the one that I played with yesterday, but I will be starting from scratch. Let's say here, I don't have this. And what I want to do is, it's for a class presentation, but I don't have any ideas. I can use templates. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to search online, online learning. Okay, these are my options. Mm, I like this. I just like this part. So add this new page. I can just edit this or at the same time I can start from scratch whenever you want. But here I will be using this. Meetings in Philippine history. So that is a subject that I thought last semester. Okay, so let's say that this is for hmm, that's a free class. It's the same content. I don't I will not need creating four videos for three classes that has the same content. It's in just random numbers. Yeah. I need to make sure that this fits with the theme. So what are the colors that my document have already used? Okay, so I think this will be nice. Change the font as well. Mm, let's use this. A little bigger. So here, the next part is I will just introduce what my subject is all about. Hmm. What font can I use? This is basically me when I'm doing the science. Hmm. I don't like all of this. We get some other inspo from other templates. And here, I like just one this element. So I will be. But you can also start from scratch and really use elements that would fit your subject. For here, I will be teaching history. So these are the elements for history. Or I will be teaching Philippine history. So I will be teaching Philippines. These are the elements for it. So let's say that I just want to... Uh, what is the subject all about? So press D. Mm -hmm. oh. oh my god. <laughs> Let's just go back to there. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is history? Or what can you expect from the subject? So I have another one. Press. Um, okay. 
what is my top project offers, readings, or G12 pen. G12 pen does not only focus on the narrative, history, and narrative stories of the Philippines. Philippines. But also, um, it can help you gain deeper understanding, deeper understanding, um, understanding, and understanding the national identity. So, so sample lang, ganyan lang. It's just, it's not really 100% accurate, but just a sample. Just for the sake of showing how to create a design. So let's say for this, I wanted to add my audio as well. Like here, I can add um, videos. Let's just say, for example, go to uploads. This is me welcoming my student. This audio is me welcoming my student. So I'm just going to put it here like that. And then just zero my transparency. So I can send this to the I can send this to I can send this to them as MP4 or a slide, whatever I want. Okay. So let's say that uh gusto ko talaga identity ng Pilipinas. Okay, gawin natin yan. Wrong. Okay. So hmm. let's make use of bakit gusto ko bakit ano? Kanya ng followers. Not that accurate. Palitan natin yun. Sige, Luzon, blue. Visayas, yellow. And Mindanao, red. I know, palitan. This is yellow. Oh, ah, so, okay. This is gonna be red. This is gonna be blue. Ayan. Okay. Kulang pa. Ano pa ba? Ano pa ba pwede natin gawin dito? Let's play with it. Okay. Hmm. I just wanted to be more. But do not get too excited and put too much elements on it. Try to appreciate the negative space. The negative space is yung mga walang nakalagay in areas. Because again, should should not be too overwhelming. Let's change the fonts. Um, using capital letters can also give the impression of emphasizing things. So what I suggest is try to put emphasis, bigger emphasis on the first thing that what the first thing na gusto mo makita na audience mo. So this is the first thing that I want them to see. So I'm going to use this. This is the second thing that I want them to see. So I'm just going to use this as this. You can, if you have another third thing, so give this a little emphasis here. I don't like this color, so you can just make it as transparent. Yeah, so this is it. I just want the rest as negative space or lima blanco. Okay, so this is mine, which is just a two page. How about yours? So, you can share me the link. How to share the link? Just share, copy link here, and then share it with us. I have yours. So, let's just wait for a little while for your outputs, and we'll be waiting for your links. So, I think I can just wait for about four minutes more. So I will be back in four minutes po and I'll, ayun na, meron na pala. Si Mom Grace meron na. So let's look at it. Oh, here it's, and welcome, second semester 2020. So I'm guessing this is for the nursing. Okay, so yun, it's really nice. It's great.
Oh, I'm sorry for that. So if you have just sent a link, can you please send it again? <laughs> because I accidentally ended the call from my end. So we can wait for about three minutes. And at 11.30, we will check the works of our colleagues. So I hope you can send it so that we can get inspiration from it as well. So I'll be back in three minutes. Okay, so let's just wait. Who are still doing their designs? Please um, notify me in the chat. Oh, I will just change this. How do you find Canva? Um, do you find it easy to use? Do you find it overwhelming? Do you find it nice? <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you for the response. How about the other spot? How do you find Canva? Do you already have ideas on how you can, yes, unleash your creativity? Do you already have your ideas on how to help you? Um, mom, what's your email? What's your email? My email. Uh, this is my email. So, uh, while waiting for the designs of the others, let's try to wait uh, two more minutes. I will be sharing this to you. I will be presenting my screen again. So, yeah, extend session. This is what I've been doing. I have shared this with the others yesterday as well. So for some mga bago lang, let's say that um, you still want to learn more about it, but there's no sessions available for it. There are, no more, there are no more training sessions that are scheduled. So no worries because we'll be creating a classroom for that. So this this is parang kumbaga, this is what um this is what is all the training is all about. This is the uh kumbaga output that we are being requested to do. So yeah. So I'm also doing that. I'm just playing with it. So here, um, I want to learn about Moodle and Canva, but I was not able to attend the training that was scheduled. Um, can I still schedule for one? Um, you can still, you can, you can just email me. But at the same time, um, let's say that you are more creative at night. You can just visit this classroom. You can just enroll for this classroom. And some bite-sized videos will be here. Activities will be here as well. Um, I will also put, uh, instead of increase and other concern, I will be putting frequently asked questions here. So again, this is just a draft or this is ongoing for a classroom, uh, still creating it. 
So I will be all putting here where you can ask questions. Uh, what are the frequently asked me to do? Where are the frequently asked questions or you have specific question that is not asked there. So you can send as well. Okay, so let's see. Here. Um, start it here. Stop presenting. Okay, so Simo Magnolia, uh, Marina Doshang, data design, but it's a personal one. Okay, so for those, um, you could just email it to me. And you could just email it to me. And if you want, um, I can also put that in the classroom to show as an example for different um, fields, for different courses. That would really help me. So if you can create a design that is for a course, um, for your class orientation, please share it to me, send it to my email, or just, yeah, just make use of my email and share it, share that to me. And paalam ko agad, if I can make use of that, upload it in the classroom so our other colleagues who was not able to attend this training can have inspiration and how to do it. So I will really, I will highly appreciate that. Okay, so let's move on. Muna, here, we're done with this checkpoint, please. This is mine. Okay, now let's design templates and integrate it in our Moodle coursework or Moodle classroom. Okay, so how do I do it? First, papakita ko muna sa inyo yung ano, papakitaan ko kayo ng blanco. I requested a blank one for the sake of tutorials. Ito yung blanco niya. Talagang topic 1, to topic 18 siya. Talagang ito lang. So as you can see, kung maglalagay ka dyan na, let's say, topic 1, palagay ko siya na, um, what is history? This is my first topic in my class. What is history? Yan. <laughs> Ay, hindi pala naka-share ang aking screen. Thank you. Thank you for sure. Telling me that. Okay. So, again, this is a blank. This is a blank one. This is a blank Moodle Classroom. So, we are asked to use Moodle Classroom, not Google Classroom, and not other, any, um, anong tawag dyan, application or software. So, we will be working with this. Ang um, pilagis na sabi ng mga students sa akin, Ma'am, can you use Google Classroom? Moodle is so technical. Moodle is just so wordy or I cannot, it's so overwhelming. So we can do something about it. Because what I really like about Moodle is that it has a lot of functions. It can um, make my life easier. <laughs> so let's try to work with it. Now, if you're just going to use this and not put any designs on it, let's say I will be adding an activity I will not go detail on how to add an activity because you can um, do that. You can have that trainings from the Moodle trainings. So, okay. Uh, no files, just that. And then I have the say readings. Uh, book. Uh, One more. Let's just add a URL link from a YouTube video. I will just put any link here, but let's just say I add a link from YouTube. Video. Yeah, same. Let's say I'm handling two course or two, yeah, two courses, just two class in the same Moodle classroom. Because I don't want to have a lot of Moodle classroom. It's the same content anyway. So let's say, ito yung makikita nila. It's, honestly, yes, I will agree. It's very dry. It's not easy to navigate. So we will do something about that. So ito lang na part ang um, gagawin natin. Then you can just play with it on your own. Okay, first we need parang a top banner here. Para pag punta ng mga student mo, okay, I am in the right class. So, okay, I will really start from scratch here just to show to you how easy it is. Um, what I find is that um, the right size is Facebook cover. I don't really have to uh, explore the sizes and try to fit it one by one. I really find Facebook cover is very fitting. But of course, if you find any other sizes, 
in designing your own classroom, it is fine as well. You can play with it. You could just yeah decide on your own. But for me, I will be using Facebook cover. So there it is, a blank one. So let's say I will be teaching readings in Philippine history. Okay. So first, of course, I will be having my text here as a heading. G1210 readings in Philippine history. Uh, before you do this, I will suggest that you already need to have a brand kit. Okay, so when you're doing a classroom, pag yung classroom lang, like yung designs na gagamitin mo, yung templates na gagamitin mo, I would strongly suggest to get a brand kit so that, baga, isa lang siya. Because I already did one na medyo, hindi, siya, hindi ko siya masyadong na-appreciate kasi hindi thematic yung labas. So I think it needs a lot of improvement. So I use this for topic one, I use this for topic two. Kung baga, wala siyang theme ba? So, and then also proper alignment, I will teach you how to fix that. <laughs> I will share it to you how I fixed it. But this is not yet fixed, of course. So yeah. And then what I noticed is that since um, we are already masters of our subject, um, I think we already have done the OYDP as well. So you already know what to teach. Um, so I think you could also create the templates ahead of time and then just put it in your Moodle classroom so that your students will also know um, what they can expect, what are the topics that they can expect. So just basically trying to put our OIDP into the Moodle class or the Moodle classroom and just putting life to it, putting the science to it. So yeah, I think going back, themes are very important. So I will be just using the same theme or the same style that I have used from the um, mash up Canva in Moodle Classroom. So, again, just click, click nyo lang, or you can just click, click, and yan. Pag happy na kayo sa design, use it. I like pastel colors, honestly, because it's not so, di siya masakit sa mata. So, I don't like too bright colors. You can also adjust the spacing para readable siya at the same time. I know. So, um, what I like about Canva is uh, I'm bad at looking kung pantay na ba siya or nasa gitna na ba siya. So, it helps me. And yan. And center. You will notice there's parang a violet na lalabas when you're doing it. Okay. So, naka-center na siya. I just need to find the center, the other center. Yun, yan. Okay, so ibig sabihin center na siya. So, let's just say that I'm happy with the font already. I just want to adjust this. I don't want too bright. You can do that. Just do this. Yan. Okay, I'm happy with that. So, let's say with the elements. Mm, mm, ah, okay. I have this idea. But, of course... You could think about it or you could just play with it. It really depends upon what you want to do. So I want para, elements like this, elements like this. This is just for the sake of para, showing to you how to do it and just really play with the elements. Uh, these are the things that I think. But I want something from, if you want something that is wala dito, you could also search. In Google and then just put it here. Uh, 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 I don't like vanilla. I don't think that it represents the whole Philippines. So, yeah, okay. Or I can just use this. Yeah, just really play. I'm not gonna really, ano na talaga. Hindi ko na siya pag-aanahin kayo, baka matagalan tayo. But anyway, let's just say, for example, that this is already it. So I, as... What I have suggested a while ago, try to add or try to try to finish it already na. Para mas madali din to kasi tuloy-tuloy ka na magda-drag, mag-integrate, mag di mo na siya kailangan na gawa ka na naman, download ka na naman. Mas madali siya. So let's say topic one is what is history? 
So this is just going to be very... So a mood board also really helps. What do I want? So what is history? I'm saying that I'm already satisfied with this. So let's say these are just my topic, my topics. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download it. Make use of PNG. If you're creating pictures and downplays, PNG is the right um the right file format. Okay, so pag more than one ang binownload mo, mag-zip file siya. So right-click ka lang, and then extract all, extract, and then automatically mag-create siya ng bagong folder na naka-extract na. So go back here. I'm gonna go to the plant one, a uh, blank one. So make sure that naka-turn editing off siya. Pag naka-turn editing on siya, ibig sabihin hindi mo siya na-edit. Magkita yung itsura niya. Yan yan. So turn editing on. Yan. So pag yung top banner mo, yung first edit ang uh, lalaroan mo. Itong edit section nito. So you cannot edit general here. You can edit general from the classroom itself. So I will be sharing to you because I already played with this. I will be sharing to you um, the right sizes as well. First, Make sure that this image is decorative only because when you use a clinic, they will require you to have text in here that will describe the image. But if it's just decorative, just put it that way. Um, browse repositories, choose file, go to your downloads or wherever your picture is. And then this is my top banner. Yeah. So upload this file. Now, you need to make use of 1,300. If you're going to use of its original file size, which is 2,050, it will be too big, especially if you're using a um, laptop. Hindi siya magmamatch. So make use of 1,300. This image is decorative only, save image. And also, now you can decide if you want it parang, ano ba to, to left aligned, but I like it centered. Kung wala nagbabago, that's okay because you can see it in your classroom when you save changes already. If you want to add welcoming pa na mga um, text, you can also do that. But yeah, you can also do that. Yeah. So save changes. Ayan lang. That's it. So um, nagkakabuhay na siya. And then change general. GE1210. Uh, GE1210. Maybe it's in Philippine history. I would suggest kung nag-handle kayo ng maraming klase using Moodle, uh, you put it in the top banner, yung mga class code nila. Uh, yeah, class code nila, like 16237, 15237, so that they will know that they are in the right place. Okay, so now we will go na. Ah, yes, do we have questions? Yes, po. Um, can I use uh, GIF in my banner? Yeah, you can. Okay, how to do it? How to uh, just go to, let's say, I want that. I want. Um, you can search Google for if. Kung meron sila na wala dito sa Canva. You could use that. History. Oh, it's not coming out. But let's just say history. I'm going to find something that is moving. Okay, this might take a while, so I'm just going to get any GIF in the elements. Um, okay, let's just say that I, just for the sake na makpakita ko sa inyo, let's just use this cute coffee here. Just same pa rin siya, just... I think I downloaded it as well as PNG. Let me try as PNG. Ah, here, GIF. Just page one. You have GIF here. Ah, am I sharing my screen? I'm not. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So I'm going to do it all over again. 
I am so sorry about that. So here it is. So here, <laughs> I already add, you can, um, gifts are available in the elements section, but you have a specific gifts that you want. It's not here. You can just drag it. It's in Google. You could also search in there. So let's say, for example, um, history, you can do that. Go to the images, tool, type, just select um, GIF, and then the is GIF, What you can do is just drag it, separate this, and then this one as well, and then drag it, something like that. If you can do that, or you can just save it as well, it would work. But let's just say, for example, it's already here. I'm happy with this. Download it as file video with GIF. Download, oh, I'm sorry, just one file. So page one, done, download. If this is what you see in your screen, do not go to other tabs because it will stop preparing. Just wait for it. Na matapos niya yung preparation niya. Okay. So you can use the same way, or I think it's a video one. I'm sorry, it should be GIF. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So when that is done and you upload it the same way as you will do with TNG, uh, it will look like this, this one. So it's moving. And it will look like that. So, yeah. Pero ito siya, mali ang size ko dito. Kasi hindi ko siya ginawa 1,300. So, hindi siya, hindi siya coordinating. So, it's very important to use 1,300. Anyway, it's, it's possible. Okay. Do we have any other questions? Do we have any more questions? Okay, I think none. So now I will be sharing my screen again and teach you how to um, make sure that even though you're handling multiple classes, it's not that Misha um, Sabotinet. Okay. So here, I have here two sections, let's say. So what I will do, just for the sake here, I've already created some subtopics. Um, ang ginawa ko dito, pinalitan ko yung size niya. The size that I use for this. Since Facebook cover is, ito ang size niya. Facebook cover is around, at the, this one, 250 to 780. Pinalitan ko lang siya ng, 940 to 70. So you can take note of the size if you also want to use of the size, but if you want to play with it, you can also do that. So yeah. Um, let's say I will just be changing, or I will be just duplicating one. Duplicate one natin And 16237 assignment or uh, materials for topic one. Then duplicate that again. Let's say, say para hindi sila nalilito, I will get another color close to this one, still in the shade of blue. Para, and then I will be using this color all throughout the course when I'm um, when I'm having or giving materials for this 16543. So download PNG, not all pages, just four and five. Done. Same process that we had. Be patient, do not go to other tabs, and then downloads, subtopics. This is the folder. Um, extract all, extract, so it's now ready. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Add an activity or resource. Click, click page. You need to make sure na um, it's, kumbaga, oh, sorry, you need to Open it in a new na lang. Open it in a new tab. Open link in new tab. So this is ready. You need to make sure that this is ready. Okay. So here, 16.237 materials. Okay. 
you can add description if you want. Get the image, choose file. Ah, here, I'm sorry. I will be adding image pala talaga. So choose file. Um, it's in downloads. Subtopic. Ah, no, 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 no. This is a subtopic. This is in 237. Upload this file. Uh, 1,300 is the right size. And save image. Okay, so click here for assignment. Click here for um, video. Click here for readings. Okay, so this one, I'm just going to highlight it, hyperlink. I'm going to get this 16237 assignment. Copy the link here. So, control A, copy. Bring link here. And then add it here. Create link. Yeah. So, that is for their assignment. Copy. I ah, know. Um, hyperlink again. So, go here. Go back as a new as. Oh, I just let's just say that I'm doing it right. Okay. So, click this one. Click their assignment. Click here, type the link, create link. And let's just say one more. I need one more, and that is the video. So click this one. It will lead you to the video. Of course, it was not a video that I hyperlink. Please do not get confused. And then put it there. Okay, create link. Okay, so now um, just make sure you display description on course page. So you're gonna turn to course. So, lahat ng materials ng 16237 nandito na. Of course, nakikita pa rin to nila. Just hide it. Hide. 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 Let's say that I did the same thing for the other, for my other class. Duplicate it. Yeah, let's say this is, let's just say this is for 16. Okay, let's edit it. Okay, instead of this, I'm going to use the other one. Which is this one? Upload this file. One three hundred. Image. Save image. Center it. Save and return. This is what it will look like for you. But let me see here. Switch role to student. This is what it will look like for them. But of course, I suggest you add banner here as well in this part after what is history. So this is my this is their materials for them. Yeah. Okay, so that is how you do it. But you could also play with it. For example, this is the other classroom that I am doing for my other colleagues who wanted to learn about Moodle and Canva. So for example, here, uh, they still need to know how to register for Canva. They will just be clicking the image or this one. They wanted to learn about the home page and the editor. They just click this image and a video, it will lead them to a video. So that is also good as well. You can also do that. Okay, so yeah. I am actually quite curious on how your Moodle classroom might look like. So I will not be asking you to do it now because it's already 11.56. So you can just share it to me. Um, just use my email and share it to me. And let's just see what, um, how creative you can be and what it will really look like. Okay, so let me just ask, do you have any questions about the two main topics that we had for today, which is basically creating basic... Oh, Mom Melba have already given us. Let's look at this. Ah, I don't have permission, Mom. You need to grant me access, Muna. <laughs> okay. Uh, Saan mag ng background? Quick question for that. Okay. So, we have this one. No, let's not use this. Okay, let's have this. Let's say... Let's say here. Oh, let's say I want to use my own image. But, I gusto ko... Let's just see kung ano yung background na makikita niya. Just go to effects and background remover. So, we have three people here. And yeah, Dave was 
the other guy at the back wasn't. So kami na lang yung soldado yung naiwan. We just do it that way. So again, upload uh, the image or put the image there. Click effects, the background and overlay. And just wait for it. Be patient about it. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. So yun siya. Then, okay. Do we have any more questions? I save it as GIF, Mom Francis. I save it as a GIF. Yeah, but I think you can also save it as PNG. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I'm really sorry, but I actually forgot what file I used before. But it's either GIF or PNG. You're welcome. Do we have any more questions? Okay, I think none. So that is for today's session. But before we all go, for tomorrow, uh, we will be playing with video presentation features of Canva. So it will be nice if you can prepare a short three to five minutes discussion. Any topic will do. It could be how to cook, how to create, providing directions, or you could also create a topic that is really related to your subject. That will be great. So you can record it from your computer if you have your OBS, your phone, or any other applications or any other device. Just make sure that it is saved in your computer by tomorrow. So this is for this session. It's 11.58. We're just on time. So thank you for everyone who is patiently with me since day one. And also thank you for those that who just joined us for today's session. I hope to see you all tomorrow and that you have your videos already. So thank you and stay healthy and safe, everyone. Goodbye, Paul. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat, ma'am. Salamat din po. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a happy lunch, everyone. Goodbye. Thank you.